What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in this video we're, we are going to go over how to offer a free trial um, on your WooCommerce site or WordPress site. So for example, I have these three pricing plans I want to offer and I want to offer them as free trials. So let's say for example, I want to offer this starter plan as a free trial and the customer pays $0.00. Um, and they have a one month free trial and then 30 days later or one month later they will be billed for $99 and I also want to notify the customer you know seven days or three days before that they have an upcoming renewal payment so how do I set this up how do I do this well I'm gonna create a new product and let me just say like name this starter um, package or starter membership, whatever you want to do. You could just name it starter, whatever the name of your plan is. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make this a virtual product since it won't be shipped. Um, but if you were going to ship it, you wouldn't make it a virtual product. And then I'm going to update this to a simple subscription. And I want to charge $99 every month. And I want to have a free trial for one month. Awesome. So $99 um, every month and a free trial for one month. Cool, so if I publish this product, right, and I visit the product page, which your users will almost never go to, they're gonna go to this pricing plans page, um, but more on that in a second. So if I go back to this plans page, I want to link this sign up button right here, and I can do that by going like this, and I have my URL slash checkout slash add to cart equals 386. So the product ID is actually 411, but I can see this easily by coming here and building out how I want it to look. So this probably makes the easiest. So my domain slash checkout slash add a cart. Um, and I want this to be 411 because that's the product ID. So I'm gonna make this 411. And if I come back here, I'm gonna update this link here. Okay, and I wanna also update this to be maybe free trial. And you may wanna make a note that it's going to be $99 a month after their month, one month free trial. Let's just move on and see how this works. So I'm gonna to go to the, back to the plans page. So I can see if someone clicks this start free trial it's going to take me to the cart page when I want to be taken to the checkout page. So something I could do is if you notice, I added this slash checkout right here. But one thing you need to watch out for if I go to WooCommerce settings and I go to products, I'm going to remove the redirect to the cart page after successful addition. And I'm going to click save. And also while I'm in the WooCommerce settings, I'm going to go to subscriptions. And if you haven't set up WooCommerce subscriptions, you can check out uh, the cards. I'll link that as well. But you need WooCommerce subscriptions to do the free trial. But I'm also going to come down here and I'm gonna allow a $0 initial checkout without a payment method. So this would be if I don't wanna take a payment or have the customer enter their credit card info while they're going through the trial. So this would be an example of like, one month free trial, no credit card required or something like that. So let's do this, $0 initial checkout. And I can see this right here, free trial. And now if I click this, it's gonna take me directly to the checkout page because we're not redirecting the card after a successful addition. And that is something that we updated right here in the WooCommerce settings, products, right? So we uncheck that. And now if I click this, I'm taken to the checkout page and the user can um, easily um, see this price right here. So one other thing about this, if I come back to the cart page, I don't really like how it says $99 a month with one month free trial. If I wanted to update this price just to be one month free trial, I could easily do this by enabling the free WooCommerce subscriptions custom price drain plugin. I will put that link in the description box below as well, as well as all my other WooCommerce subscription links if you guys want to check it out. So after enabling this WooCommerce subscriptions custom price strain plugin, if I come back to my product and I refresh it, I can see right here 
there's a new space for custom price drain. So I just wanna say one month free trial and I'm gonna click sit or update. And if I click the start free trial, it's going to take me to the checkout and show one month free trial. So this price successfully updates to one month free trial. And now I have three in my cart, but I only want one. So if I wanted to limit it to only one product in the cart, I also could come down here and I could update sold individually. And that would only allow one of the items to be bought in a single order. And if I update this, and if I come back to my cart page, it will automatically update to one. So I'll come back to my plans page. And if I click this start free trial, and maybe I wanna make this text smaller if it was a real life example. But if I click start field free trial, it automatically takes me to the checkout page. I can see everything and I'm not, I don't need a credit card to place the order. So to keep going with this, if I wanna hide this recurring totals field, I could by using um, a snippet I'm gonna add and I also will put that link in the description box below. So I could essentially come up to um, code snippets and I will put this um, snippet right here in the description box below or the link to it. And if I activate this snippet um, using the free code snippets plugin and I come back to my checkout, um, the user is not going to see um, the recurring totals. It's just gonna see the one month free trial. This is all they're gonna see and it's not gonna require them to get a payment method. So one more time, if I just open this up and I go to my plans URL, I'm in an incognito window. And if I just click start free trial, I'm taken to the checkout page and I can easily place my order without a credit card. And to build off this, I could also unset these by using the direct checkout manager. So let's go to plugins, add new. And I'm gonna say direct checkout WooCommerce. This is another free plugin that you can use. And after installing the plugin, I'm going to activate it. Awesome, so I'm gonna go down here to these settings right here, and I am going to go to checkout, and I am going to remove um, checkout fields, you know, state, city, address one, address two, and company, but you could add or remove other ones if you wanted to. And after saving these checkout fields, my checkout, um, page is not going to show. It's only going to show like the first name, last name, um, zip code and email address. So I don't have to um, add a credit card method. So I'm going to just refresh this as well. And if you wanted an easy way to be able to notify your customers that their free trial is coming to an end and that they need to add a credit card, or if they did take a credit card and you want to let them know that they have a renewal payment or a subscription payment coming up, you could utilize the Automate Woo plugin, and I'll put that link in the description box below, as well as um, my tutorial on that. So let's say I want to um, notify the customer. So this would be like, you know, if someone starts a free trial today, this would be, you know, I wanna say this subscription um, before renewal. So I wanna do this, you know, seven days before the renewal, and I could do starter plan or starter package. And I could add a rule if I wanted to with one of these many rules. Um, but for now, I'm just going to send an email and say, you know, send this to the customer email and upcoming renewal payment. And um, say, hey, customer first name, you have an upcoming, let's say you have an upcoming payment for to the price on um, next payment date. Cool. Please add your payment method here. I think this would be the link. Awesome, let's do something like that. Thanks, you know, your team. Awesome, so I'm going to save this. And if I preview this email, I can see that um, it shows like this. 
and maybe I wanted to spice this up. So I think I can click this text button and just do something like that. Cool. And let's save this workflow. And if I preview this again, I can see that it has this link and take this a step further. Let's erase this space and let's click save. If I come back to my workflows, I could even add um, this as a button. And I believe it's, um, I believe it's that class, but let me, let's double check. And if I click save, and now if I preview this, I can see that this is now a button. So this just makes it really easy. And if I really wanted to get crazy with it, I could uh, update this to plain text. Maybe that's cleaner. And you can customize, you know, the to the subject. You could add a reply to to a different, you know, address or, you know, etc. So um, let's preview this one more time. And I also want to have this be transactional. But let's preview this one more time. And it will look like this, but on white text. Like so, if I do an example. Um, let me just send this as an example and you can see the email in one second. So if I go back to my email, I can see this is how the email would look like coming from my site. Um, it looks pretty clean and pretty easy to understand. And one more thing about this is transactional. Just let me save this and resend it. And you'll see right here that um, without transactional click, we have this unsubscribe link, but since this is not a marketing email, we don't need to add the unsubscribe because all customers should get this. So if I preview this and resend this as a test and go look at the test email. So let's look at it one more time. And now if I look here, I don't have this unsubscribe link that I did in the first method. So if I click this, you know, it's going to take me to um, my account to add a, or change my payment method or add a new payment method. That is all I have today, guys. If you got value out of this video or if you're trying to learn more about WooCommerce or even just WordPress selling memberships or selling things with virtual products or selling things on subscriptions, let me know in the comments below. I think this is kind of a hidden gem. I sell personally all my uh, monthly maintenance packages for our agency through WooCommerce subscriptions. We've we've done so many things with WooCommerce that it just made sense for us to use WooCommerce and WooCommerce subscriptions for our own site. So, but if you're like even selling like memberships or services or really anything with virtual products or physical products, let me know. Um, and yeah, have a great rest of your day and see you next time. Peace.